journey home to your heart. Storytelling agents in America. Welcome to our home, Storytopia. Agent America. Once upon a time, Storytopia. Once upon a time, Storytopia. Agent America. Storytopia. Hi, my name is Yasu. Welcome to Asian American Storytopia. It's so great to see you. Today, we will take you into a fun, exciting journey through stories and arts. So, are you ready? Let's get started. I'm Robert Kikuchi in Goho, storyteller from San Francisco. That's where I was born. I'm half Japanese, half Filipino, Asian American. Yes, my ancestors did come from Asia long ago, over a hundred years ago. Well, I was raised to appreciate the many cultures of my ancestral roots, and so here's a story that you might enjoy as well. A folktale from Thailand. A single drop of honey. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful kingdom. Oh, a peaceful kingdom, where life was oh so sweet and... It was ruled by a wise king and queen. They had a golden rule, actually two. Make things right, clean up your mess. Two simple principles that led the kingdom into a beautiful life for all its citizens and the people. They followed these rules. They treated everyone with respect. Well, oh, and this golden rule guided them in their families, amongst their neighbors, in the villages, and the bustling streets of the city, and even beyond the humans' relationship to the land, the forests, the rivers and mountains. Make things right, clean up your mess. Now, each year the king would go on a royal inspection and to make sure that people were following the golden rule. Now, one day, well, the royal elephant was loaded up, there were banners and the drummers and the procession was ready to proceed when the king heard the sound, Honey! Oh, oh, oh yes, my dear. Honey! Uh, yes, what is it that you want? Honey, my dear, what do you want, my queen? Honey, we need honey. Our royal pantry is empty of honey. Please go to the marketplace and get some. Oh, honey, of course, hun. And so... The king snapped his royal fingers, and the royal honey servant came. Yes, indeed, your highness, completely empty. Good. We'll pick some up at the marketplace after our inspection. Well, the drums resounded, and the royal procession proceeded, from the farms and the villages to the bustling streets of the city, to inspect the kingdom. And the rules were followed, and people lived in harmony. Oh, life was all so sweet as people set things right and cleaned up their messes. Well, the inspection was now over, and now it was time to go back home when the servant called out, Your Highness, we need to get honey. Oh, yes, honey. And so he snapped his fingers, and that royal honey servant went to the honey vendor. Go, 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 and filled it to the brim. Go. Now, as that servant was carrying that heavy jar of honey, uh, <laughs> one single drop, Bing! Land it in the dirt. Oh, 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 I must clean it up. Come on, let's hurry with that honey. We've got to get back to the palace. But your highness, um, a single drop of honey on the ground I spilled. Oh, don't bother. It's just a single drop of honey. What could a single drop of honey do? And so off they went back to the palace. As that single drop of honey glistened in the sunlight. Just then, a gecko <gasps> saw that glistening ball of sweetness and started licking it. And he was so happy, he was wagging his tail in the dust, and a flurry of dust whipped up in the air and was spotted by a cat who chased after that gecko. And, oh, it was such a, an exciting scene to see that the people started looking. Wow, look at that. That's funny. <laughs> oh, but the uh, the cat owner, he didn't want that happening. And so uh, he was about to call his cat back when suddenly woof, 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 a dog came running out chasing after the cat. Meow, woof, 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 meow, meow, as the gecko ran around. 
licking his lips. Oh, my goodness, this is starting to get exciting, said the bystander. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, when suddenly the cat owner saw this dog about to hurt his cat. Hey, hey, leave my kitty alone. And he picked up a stick and whacked that dog. Woof! As the dog kept chasing. Woof, woof, woof. And the cat kept running. Woof! And the gecko kept running around. Licking his lip. Just then, the dog owner saw the beating of his dog. And she raised her broom. Don't hurt my doggy. And whoom! Whack that cat owner who whacked that dog and the dog chasing whoop whoop the cat meow the cat goes licking his lip oh now everyone was laughing and pointing ha 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 except the child said shouldn't we stop this those animals are and those people are getting hurt oh why bother it's about time we have a little entertainment around here but it got very 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 exciting because soon. Dog owners and cat owners saw this foray. Hey, that's not right. That dog's too big. Hey, that's not right. Hitting a hitting a dog like that or hitting a baby. The cat owner, no. And pretty soon, as you know, there are cat lovers and dog lovers in any crowd. And soon they started fighting. Oh, cats are best. Dogs are best. They had to call the police. Tweet, tweet. Who came right in? Well, but they heard what the argument was all about. They were cat and dog livers themselves. Oh, cats are better, dogs are better. And pretty soon, there was a huge fight with the police and the people and the dog owners and the cats. And the dog, woof, 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 and the gecko, licking his lips. Now the army needed to be called in to stop this riot. But of course, they joined in. Cats, dogs, cats, dogs. Oh, oh, oh. oh the marketplace was a mess. No, no, the, the stalls were knocked over. Fruits were thrown in the air. Even some meow, cats flying through the sky here. Oh, it was a holy mess. Now, at this moment, the king and queen were about to step out on their palace veranda to gaze upon the beauty of their peaceful kingdom. What? What's going on here? Sound the royal gong. Boom! The people stopped in tracks. What is going on? Who started this? Ooh, the army, the police, the people, the cat, the cat, the dogs, the cat, the cat, the cat, the dog. The queen stepped forward, and in her wisdom, she, she saw that that gecko running around. She picked him up really quickly, and huh? ran her fingers around the lips of that gecko. Oh. Honey. Honey? Honey. Oh. Honey. <laughs> Honey. Sorry, hun. Well, the king was about to blame the royal servant when the servant said, But your highness, you said don't bother. Well... The king felt so embarrassed, he needed to admit that he made a big, bothering mistake. And so the queen stepped forward, and in her wisdom, she made sure the king cleaned up his mess and set things right. And so along with the people, the army, the police, the dog and cat owners, they all set about making things right and cleaning up their messes. Oh, and they also decreed an additional law as well. If you don't take care of the little bothers, the bothering gets bigger. And so by the end of the day, the king and queen stepped out onto their palace veranda, gazed out upon once again a peaceful kingdom, and once again life was oh so sweet. I'm Toby. I'm Japanese-American. In 1916, my grandparents came from Japan to the United States to make it their new home. I'm from Olympia, Washington. I'd like to show you how to play this card game called Chichuk. A Chichuk is a small lizard that lives in Malaysia. Now with this card game, the object of the game is to be left with the joker or the 
Chichuk. Let's play. We got to decide who's going to go first, me or my buddy, Rebecca. So of course we're going to do rock, paper, scissors. You ready, Rebecca? Mm -hmm. Sai shou Junkin Pong. <laughs> You're first. So you have your deck of cards and make sure you only have one joker in the deck. The joker is the Chichak. Now that we have our cards, it's time to discard pairs like these. And when you do, you say Dua, which means two in Malay. Dua! 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 Rebecca gets to go first because she won in rock, paper, scissors. Dua! 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 Chicha! Chicha! Who knows? Maybe next time when we play, I'll get to be Chicha. Hello there. My name is Ann Shimojima. I'm a storyteller in Illinois. My grandparents came to this country from Japan over a hundred years ago. So I'm Japanese American. This story is an old folk tale from Japan called Luck from Heaven and Earth. Now in Japan, January 1st, New Year's Day is a very important holiday. On January 1st, you want to have your house clean from top to bottom. You want to have all your debts paid off. You want to cook up a big feast and visit with your friends and family. And People believe in the custom of Hatsuyume, the first dream of the year. It is said that the first dream of the year can predict how your entire year will go. So everyone wants to have a good and prosperous dream for their first dream of the year. Well, once a long time ago, there were two men who were neighbors. One man was honest and hardworking, a very good man. The other man was a greedy scoundrel. One day, just before New Year's, the two men met by the side of the road and started talking. They decided to meet again after New Year's and compare their first dreams of the year. So a few days later, they met again. The good man said, I had a wonderful dream. I dreamt that luck came to me from heaven. The greedy man said, well, I had a good dream too. I dreamt that luck came to me from the earth. Well, said the good man, we'll have to see if our dreams come true. Later on that day, the good man was digging in his field and his shovel hit something hard. So he kept on digging and what did he uncover but a great big pot with a lid on it. He lifted the lid and to his surprise, inside he saw a pile of gold and silver coins. He thought, oh, this must be the luck from my neighbor. It comes from the earth. I must tell him about it. He put the lid back on, put the pot back in the earth and covered it very carefully with dirt so no one else would find it. He went off to tell his neighbor. The greedy man was very glad to hear this news and the good man told him exactly where to find the pot. So later on that day, the greedy man went to the field and dug up the pot. But when he lifted the lid, what did he see but a pile of writhing, hissing snakes? He flew into a rage. He thought, my neighbor thinks he can play a trick on me. He thinks this is funny. Well, I'll show him. He put the lid back in the pot and he went home. Late that night, the greedy man left his house with his pot and a ladder. He went over to the good man's house. He leaned the ladder against the side of the house and he climbed up to the roof with the pot. He went over to the chimney and looked down. He could see the good man and his wife sitting at the table eating their supper. He took the lid off the pot and said, 
here's your joke. And he turned the pot over and he shook the contents into the chimney. Down below, the good man heard a noise coming from above and he looked up just in time to see a shower of gold and silver coins coming down the chimney. Look, he said to his wife, here is our luck from heaven. So the good man and his wife lived happily to the end of their days. Hope you had a fun, exciting journey through stories and arts. Please give us a thumbs up to the video and please don't forget to subscribe Asian American Story of the channel so that you don't miss any exciting updates from us. We cannot wait to see you at the next episode. Mata ne! That is a see you in Japanese. So, mata ne! <laughs>